going on guys? Got a video for you here. This video is focused on how you can find uh, people, candidates, clients, just people in general uh, that have another language that they can speak uh, Mandarin, they can speak Thai or, or Japanese or any other language that you might be interested uh, in using. Um, there is a filter that's coming out that will allow you to select by people's languages, but it's not out yet. Um, but in the meantime, you probably have uh, needs, you know, to find people that, that do have that bilingual ability. So I wanted to show you two tricks for how to do this within uh, LinkedIn, and I hope you find this useful. Uh, the first trick is to use something called custom filters. So custom filters requires you to do a bit of admin work in the front end, um, or up front, should I say. Um, but once that admin work is done, it's definitely going to be able to pay dividends for you. So let me show you what I mean. I'm just going to type an arbitrary keyword so I can get to my next screen. Again, you don't have to type it like this. This is just the way I like to work. I type in an arbitrary keyword and it takes me to this screen with all my filters on the side here. So what I've done in preparation uh, for this video is I've prepared a custom filter. I've actually gone in and I just went to Wikipedia and I looked up you know, list of universities that are in China. And then what I did is I entered in, oops, I entered in those schools here on the left-hand side. And each time LinkedIn was able to find that school uh, that I meant, and then it actually kind of locked it in in one of these bubbles here. So, and it's also going to suggest schools as, is, as the new uh, next-gen recruiter does. So for example, I could just add in the University of Hong Kong here by clicking on that, and then it's going to, you know, you kind of saw the uh, results here shift a little bit as it added people that went to this university. So I loaded up every university uh, in China, and then one in Hong Kong here. And then what I did is I went up to the top, and I just hit Save Custom Filter. So when I save this as a custom filter, that means I only need to enter in that list of schools once. I, I never have to enter it in again. So then when I come back and I quickly need to pivot over to people that went to, to school in China, I'm just able to select that filter. So we're making a really big assumption here. Uh, let me actually just take out the keyword so the results look a little bit more natural. So we're making an assumption here. The assumption is that if someone went to university in China, then they have Mandarin speaking ability. So obviously that's not always going to be the case. You may come up with some individuals, perhaps they did a a short study abroad, or perhaps they, you know, you know, attended there or interned there, and for some reason they're listing one of these universities in their education section. Um, but I think that this is, you know, of the two ways that I'm going to show you today, I think that this is the best way to go. Um, because it's really unlikely that someone's done four years at uh, Xiamen University, but they don't speak Mandarin. It's possible, but it's unlikely. So we're just, we're just looking to maximize our chances of finding someone that does speak Mandarin. And almost more importantly, this will capture people that went to this university, even if they don't have the word Mandarin on their profile. And that actually happens many, many times. If I just actually show you this keyword search here, just to illustrate this point, I'll uh, go down to keywords here, and I'll enter in the keyword not Mandarin. So these are people that don't have the word Mandarin in their profile, and there are over a million people that don't have the word Mandarin in their profile. So it, it could be the case that uh, Jason Zhang here went to Peking University for four years and doesn't know Mandarin, but perhaps not. Perhaps he just didn't put the word Mandarin in his profile, yet he does have the ability to speak Mandarin. Um, so just illustrating that point of how going by this school's filter could be really useful for you in terms of finding people with language ability. So you just apply this to any country. You know, if you wanted to list the universities that are in Japan, list the universities that are in um, Philippines, if you're after a Tagalog speaker, list the universities that are in uh, Spain, you know, or, or Madrid, you know, for, or that, that's also Spain. You know what I mean. You just list the universities that are in the country of interest, and that will get you closer to finding people that have that language ability. Um, and just to show you, you don't have to just use these filters. Obviously, we can go up to the job title section here, and we can enter in the job title of sales. And so these are salespeople that have attended university in China, or in Hong Kong in this case, because I did enter in that Hong Kong university towards the end. Um, so highly recommend you check this out if you do have 
uh, an interest in business development for people with certain language ability, if an interest in candidates with certain language ability, just entering those schools, you jump up to the top here and you save those schools as a custom filter, mischief managed. The second method that you can use to find people with language ability is a certain Boolean search string. So let me actually reset the search and do this fresh. And the Boolean search string that you can use, I've actually saved it in advance of this. So I'll just go to my save searches here. And the Boolean search string I'll use is this one here. So we put in these words that connotate a lot of power in a language, bilingual, multilingual, fluent, native, and we add and, Mandarin or Putonghua in this case. So I'll just run that search. So unlike the last one that was focused on universities, this one is focused on keywords. So they need to have one of those power keywords as well as the language that I would like um, on their profile. And so we saw earlier that that's not always going to be the case. You know, just because I don't have Spanish on my profile doesn't mean I don't speak Spanish. And this is, this is one of the more advanced ways of using the LinkedIn platform. In the last time, we, we assumed that they have some language ability if they went to that university. But this one is very literal. You know, they need to have those keywords on their profile. And, and because you're relying on the information that's on the profile, rather than facts about their, their life, like where they went to school, I think that this is the, the less powerful version of how you can find bilingual candidates. But I still think it's a useful tool, um, and of course you can always combine these two searches together. Um, so I definitely recommend trying both of them out. One, the custom filters, and two, a safe search uh, using this Boolean search string. I've attached both of the uh, resources to do these two different tricks um, in the email that you're receiving or in the uh, description of the YouTube video below. Um, I hope you find this helpful. If there's anything that you want to add, any questions you have, or even any feedback that you want to share in terms of content you'd like to see in the future, definitely let me know. Um, I look forward to hearing from you, and I look forward to seeing you out there. Thanks very much for your time.